There you go. That is a nice one, baby. Look at that bead. This here is a male. You can tell that by this big, big jaw look right here. See that big old hook, hook jaw? And they bite that bead, which you see right there. And that's like, you know, they're going to lay eggs. They see other eggs. So they're like, let's get this out of here. I want my eggs to be the ones to survive. So they'll just pop these. Although recently, there's been some science and some arguments based on the fact that they're not eating right now, but they're possibly doing that because they're trying to get some calories on the way. And then it's like, they spend their whole lives eating. So we'll still eat on the way. But historically, a lot of people thought it was more of the, the defense and not that reason. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gills on him, bust those out, and then give him the opportunity to bleed out. What that'll do is make the meat a lot more pure. I'm just reaching in, grabbing the gills, that's what they breathe through, ripping it out. When I do that, the blood comes out, you run them in the water, all the blood will come out of the fish, it'll pour out. You wanna do it as soon as possible because it makes it a little bit easier for the fish to die without suffering. And on top of that, when that meat's out of that, or the blood is out of that meat, it is so much better tasting. A lot of the foul flavor and stuff that people say that they don't like about the fish comes from that blood. So get rid of that, you're good. And imagine if you're at a grocery store and there's like a slab of meat and there's blood everywhere. It wouldn't be as appetizing. So we do that, gets all the blood out, makes it good to go. Start by making a slit just behind the gill. Go down to the spine, then you'll turn your knife and go right along the spine. Just basically just go in, you can see, about an inch deep. And you're just falling right along that spine. Okay. That kind of starts to separate. Now you can feel right here, I'm running my knife, I feel the top of the rib cage right there. So because of that, I have to slowly turn my knife outward just to run along the rib cage. Now imagine, so like there's a, a tube of bones that comes out like this, about that section, about the size of my hand there. So you want the thick part above here, the thin part that drapes over that, and then the whole thing back here is completely boneless and pretty thick. So because that part's boneless and thick, I'm going to punch my knife all the way through once I get back past the, um, once I get past the rib cage, poke my knife all the way through and hold it flat so it goes right across the spine and then right out the tail. And that's gonna leave you the whole tail meat here. And now here's the ribs that we were just going over. You can kind of see them through the little bit of the thin part there. And that's absolutely perfect. So right here now, on salmon, even sockeye, the most tasty salmon on the planet Earth, this section right here is the stomach fat, okay? Now this part is a little bit more oily. It holds a lot more oil. And a lot of people don't like the flavor. They think it's too much, too fish oily. So what I like to do is leave it on, because I don't care what people think, and I actually put it in the smoker just like that, and those oils actually help keep it moist through the smoking process. However, if you're just gonna be eating normal fillets, you got a finicky mother-in-law over, cutting off that section, feeding it to the bald eagles might be the better option. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay green. Thank you for watching this how-to video, which is part of the Greenway Outdoors Outdoor Education Series. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more outdoor education content. Also check out the Greenway Outdoors podcast, huntcast, and official TV show. Visit thegreenwayoutdoors.com for more information.